Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Fallout 3. We are still here in the mall and it's rather impressive looking surroundings. I mean even in this ruined state this still looks pretty amazing. And we're currently looking for um, the National Archives because we need to collect the Declaration of Independence for the guy in the museum back in Rivet City. So um, let me have a quick look at my map again maybe. It's gotta be very close by because my marker is um, over here. So let's see what we can find. Also I haven't really been at the capital, at least not from this side. I have been at the capital from like the other side. But this can maybe wait until later. Also, it looks like we may have another subway station somewhere around here. So let's check that out. Okay, here we go. You have discovered the National Archive. So I guess it's going to be this building here. Um. But I would like to find that subway station as well. Oh, and I see super mutants. Okay, that guy has a grenade. Let's wait for that one to explode and now we can shoot him in the head. <laughs> And yeah, this guy is actually one who has a gun. But I'm sure dog meat can just finish him off. Alright, there we go. Now, since this is one of the melee mutants, um, they usually don't have any stuff that I need. And I don't need that either. But this guy probably has some useful stuff, yes. And um, I should probably start to combine a few things. Yep, there we go. Combine all the things. And I can combine even more. There we go. And oh yeah, I have like a bunch of Chinese assault rifles now as well. Now I have two in very good condition. And let's see if I can do something about the assault rifles. Okay. I probably have enough <laughs> uh, guns for the time being. That should last me for a while. So where is that subway station? Oh, I think it's over here. Yep, the mall northeast. I'm still guessing this is all like the same subway station. And it's just like different entrances. Probably all Metro Central, right? Museum. Or oh, museum. One of these. Let's see. Where does this lead? Gate to Pennsylvania Avenue, the Mall Metro. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all like one station. Or at least very close to each other. Anyway, now let's um, try to find a way to get into the National Archives. I will have a quick look around here, but it looks like this is going to be the end of this area. So I have to find like my way inside this building now. Let's just check out the front door. And I hope the front door is open for business. <laughs> okay, this looks like a door. Let's 
Go inside. Door to the National Archives. Here we go. Okay. Um, looking safe so far. <laughs> but I'm sure that's going to change pretty soon. Rotunda for the Charters of Freedom. Okay. National Archives. Guess and win. What can I win? Answer all eight questions correctly and win. <laughs> so it's a quiz. Okay, uh, sure. Let's give it a try. The Declaration of Independence was an act of what body? <laughs> oh dear. Um, are these all going to be about US history? Because then I'm going to be bad at it. But at least it's multiple choice, so I can literally guess and win. Second Judgmental Congress, Second Orchestral Congress, First Continental Congress, Second Continental Congress. Well, I'm going to rule out the Orchestral Congress because that doesn't make any sense. So, Judgmental? Continental? None of that seems familiar, so I just have to guess. Um, judgmental. Incorrect, please try again. Okay, but at least I can just play again. So it's got to be one of the continental ones. Um, how about the second one? I mean, first they had to have one congress where they discuss all of that, and then a second congress where they could actually um, make a decision, right? So that makes sense to me. <laughs> okay, there we go. Correct. Uh, question two. How many North American colonies rebelled against Great Britain in 1776? Okay, I should know this one. Um, yeah, it's got to be 13, because that's the amount of stripes on the flag, right? And, I mean, this part of history is the same in our reality as it is in Fallout. The point where our timelines uh, diverge is, like, later than that, right? So it's got to be 13. There we go. That's actually a question that I could answer uh, on my own. Question 3. Oh, who was the first person to sign the Declaration of Independence? John Hancock, George Washington, Benjamin Franklin, John Adams. Um, I have no idea. I'm going to pick the one name I'm not familiar with, because I'm going to guess that the other three are just red herrings, because they are kind of famous. <laughs> so I'm going to pick John Hancock. <laughs> okay, well, it's actually correct. Uh, maybe that was a good reasoning. Question 4. How many delegates signed the Declaration of Independence? <laughs> Again, no idea. Um, so I'm going to pick a number that's kind of in the middle, not the lowest and not the highest. Let's go with um, 76. Nope. Oh, and now I lost all the correct answers to the other questions. But I mean, I can just do them again. Let's maybe try to get this one right first before I uh, do all the others again. So how about 56? Okay, there we go. And question 5. Which one of the following is not a written section of the Declaration of Independence? Indictment, <laughs> preamble, introduction, ratification. Uh... I'm pretty sure it has a preamble. <laughs> Would it have an introduction in addition to the preamble? And why would it have an indictment? Ugh, I have no idea. Um, so I'm pretty sure preamble should be part of it. The rest I have to guess. Uh, introduction? No, apparently it has an introduction in addition to the preamble. Okay, um, let's... Oh, this is not, not the question that I just wanted to ask. I still have to do this one again. Um, so, it's probably indictment or ratification. Ratification, maybe? Okay, that's correct. Question 6. Who was the ruler of Great Britain when the Declaration was enacted in 1776? 
that one I should know. Yep, it's King George the Third. There we go. That's an easy one. Complete this famous phrase from the Declaration: "Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness." That one um, I was able to answer even without multiple choice because I mean that one uh, is is pretty famous. Question eight. Who was the principal author of the Declaration of Independence? Uh, I'm going to rule out Abraham Lincoln because that was a bit later, right? So one of the Jameses or Thomas Jefferson? I don't know, I'm most familiar with Thomas Jefferson, so I'm going to pick him. Okay, correct. So I have these correct and now I can just redo all of these since I know the correct answers. 13. Um, John Hancock. And 56. So, what is my prize? Okay, here we go. Congratulations, claim your prize. <laughs> Congratulations! Please press the selection below to dispense your prize voucher and take it to the redemption terminal. Okay. System error. Dispensing. Oh. <laughs> so it, it doesn't work anymore? Oh no, I did get a voucher. Okay, so it still works. And now I have to take it to the redemption terminal. Is it this one over here? Oh yes, it is. A National Archives Prize Redemption System, congratulations! You're a true American patriot! <laughs> Which is funny because I'm not even American. But I mean, I guess Mara is. And I guess she got some kind of education in the world. And they do seem to put an emphasis on patriotism. So maybe she actually knows all of that. Unlike me, I had to guess like half of them. <laughs> More than half, actually. <laughs> anyway, let's redeem the voucher. New Fruit Mentats Prizes, brought to you by MedTech Laboratories. Glamorously Grape Mentats, Brilliantly Berry Mentats, Observantly Orange Mentats. <laughs> so it's Mentats, but like a special kinds of Mentats? I have no idea. I'm going for the Glamorously Grape Mentats. Sorry, need a prize voucher. But I, I just gave you one. Okay, so I I did redeem my voucher and I got like special mentats apparently. So uh, do these work different than normal mentats? Um they actually do. Plus five charisma. Okay, so it's a different sort of mentats. <laughs> Interesting. Also I just noticed I still have like this book here. May as well read it. Rest is uh, not something I need to take care of right now. And yeah, I just noticed we have some enemies around here. Ooh, um, is that a person? Oh yeah, it is. There's like a friendly NPC on my um, radar or compass. Also, there's mines. Yeah, I I see the mines. Let me remove them. What do you mean they're coming? Lock and load. They'll be here any second. Oh oh um, I, I see what you mean. <laughs> we have some super mutants attacking us apparently. Oh boy, um... Let me bring out a bigger gun here. Hang tight. There's always a second wave. Okay, second wave. Yep, I can see it. Over here. And another one. <laughs> Watch it. Defend the rotunda. Completed. Okay, so that was it. 
Um, hang on a second. I'll talk to you right away. <laughs> Let me first uh, loot all of these super mutants. Um, I don't think I need any rifles at the moment. Let's just pick up the ammo. The ammo is always useful. And there's another one here. Oh, 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 oh. There's a mine somewhere. Yep. Maybe I should make sure that we have disarmed all the mines in this place. Yep, there's even more. Oh, and even more. This place is just filled to the brim with mines. Yep, even more here. And even more here. Okay, um... Looks like we are safe now. Activate Sydney's remote terminal. Requires key. Is is that Sydney over here? Is this her terminal? Could be. Alright. Um, I think the place is safe now. Let's go and talk to that lady here. Why did you take a holodisc picture? It'll last longer. What do you mean? <laughs> uh, anyway, let me uh, put away my gun and let's talk to her now. Phew. Say, you're pretty decent in a firefight. Why, thank you. Thanks, you're not so bad yourself. Yep, I sure am. Yeah, better than you, did I? I honestly didn't pay attention to her gun skills, so I'm just going to accept the compliment. Oh, ho. do I detect a hint of wit? Rare to run into that in the capital wastes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being a complete asshole. I'm Sydney. It's good to meet a fellow relic hunter. A fellow relic hunter? So I guess you're also here for some pre-war stuff. What do you mean, fellow relic hunter? I'm not looking for anything, I'm just passing through. I don't have time for this crap. Yeah, what do you mean, fellow relic hunter? Come on. You and I both know this is where the Declaration of Independence is stashed. Uh, okay. No need to be coy about it. Good old Abraham Washington sent you on the same suicide mission he sent me on. Oh. The only problem is, you're not going to get it without my I help. See. Yeah, I think he mentioned something about that. It's been a while ago, so I don't remember all the details, but I think he said that he already sent someone to retrieve uh, the declaration. Um, who's stupid enough to shell out a bunch of caps for a scrap of paper? Well, we've met the guy, so someone is really after this kind of stuff. I don't work with strangers. What are you proposing? Hang on there. You need to tell me who you are before I agree to anything. Um, yeah, sure. What exactly are you proposing? Simple. We pool our resources, grab the declaration, then make for Rivet City and split the reward. Hmm. I've studied the plans of this place. So without me, you are going to go in circles. What do you say? Well, I don't know. I'm sure I would be able to find this on my own. But it might be easier to um, tag along. And I guess I'm willing to share the reward. Sure, let's team up. Nope, not interested. War, war, slow down. Let me think a minute. Um, sure, let's team up. This might make it easier for me. Smart move. Okay, the declaration is secured in the archive's strong room underground. There's a concealed cargo lift right here in the center of the rotunda. I've spent a few days hacking the lock with my remote mm. terminal. Okay. When you're ready, punch in the password. Let's get going. Uh, National Archive Security Password. Okay. What's our next move? What do you want about... What do you know about the Declaration of Independence? Since we're partners now, why don't you tell me about yourself? Are you hurt? Wait here a minute. Let's get going. Um, I mean, she kind of told me our next move just now, but let's husk it anyway. There's a cargo lift right here in the rotunda. It should take us directly down to the lower levels. Okay. I was hacking the system right before we were attacked. The code should be, <laughs> we the people. That's a little bit obvious, but okay. 
So, what do you know about the declaration? All I know is that it looks like a rolled up piece of thick paper with all kinds of writing on it. Some famous document from a long time ago. <laughs> Abraham Washington is a huge US history nut. So, that's why he wants it so badly. Indeed. Indeed. But yeah, um, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself first? Ha! <laughs> I'm surprised that you care. Usually everyone looks out for themselves <laughs> nowadays. What is it you want to know? Well, let's see. How did you get into the relic hunting business? You recovered all of that stuff in the Preservation Society's museum. Nice gun. I've never seen one like that. <laughs> I didn't pay attention to her gun, but apparently it's like a special one. What happened to your father? That is a weird random question. But sure, let's just ask all of it. So how did you get into the relic hunting business? I don't know. I grew up like pretty much every other girl in this mm. crappy world. Spent most of my life just trying to keep away from slavers. One day out in the wastes, I stumbled across some poor bastard's body. On the body I found info leading to some famous document. <laughs> I had heard that Abraham Washington was looking for these scraps of paper. So I went after the thing. Turned out to be the Constitution. I see. After he loaded me up with caps, I got pissed drunk, got laid, and was happy for the first <laughs> time in a while. I haven't looked back since. All right, makes sense to me. So, have you uh, recovered all that stuff in the museum? Oh, no. There is more than a lifetime supply of grade A crap in that place. <laughs> Couldn't possibly do it alone. Like you, he hires anyone off the street. Honestly, I don't care what he does with that stuff. As long as the caps keep flowing, I'll be there to collect. Sure, that's understandable. Um, yeah, tell me a bit more about your gun. Yeah, it is nice. I don't even sleep without it under my pillow. <laughs> my father made gun ammunition for a living. Taught me everything about how firearms work. Huh. So, I've spent my downtime tinkering with guns like my 10mm Ultra SMG here. It's like a hobby, I guess. You don't plan on selling that, maybe? I might be interested in that. Um, okay, but now that question about her father makes a bit more sense. <laughs> Sorry, there's some things I still want to keep to myself. Maybe when I get to trust you better. All right, fair enough. So, uh, I guess that's it. Okay. Um, so, have you been hurt in that gunfight? Nope, I'm fine. All right, so, <laughs> I guess uh, she didn't really get any hits here. Wait here a minute, let's get going. Um, no, sure, let's get going. I'm getting so drunk when we get paid for this. Sure, we should have a drink once this is done. Ah, I see, this is your special gun, I guess. Okay, um, so now she's going to follow me, right? Yes, she is. Um, let me have a look at my quest again. Has it updated? Uh, not really. But I mean, she said I'm supposed to use her terminal right let's do it we the people warning this terminal is not authorized on the national archive security grid please disengage immediately <laughs> unlock rotunda cargo lift access archives mainframe current contracts huh. well i guess i'm going to snoop around a little bit Okay, that's not doing anything. Um, what if I try to access the archive's mainframe? Access blocked. Okay. So basically, I can just um, use the cargo lift. Sure, let's do it. Override enabled. Okay. So, where exactly is it though? The cargo lift. Is it somewhere in the vicinity, you would think? Oh, this is the cargo lift. Okay, um, interesting. You should probably come here <laughs> and stand on the elevator. Secret elevator to archival secure wing east. Um, 
I'm guessing she's just going to follow me automatically. So let's um, use this. Okay, here we go. All right, it looks like she came down here with me, so uh, we are good ben, on that account. Today I address you with a message Ooh. of utmost urgency. Our defenses have been breached, and soon we'll engage the enemy. <laughs> Remember, the will of the people is the only legitimate foundation of any government, and to protect its free expression should be our first object. Who's talking? As your leader, Button Gwinnett, distinguished <laughs> representative of Georgia, Button I Gwinnett? You I have not yet begun to fight. Distinguished representative of Georgia. I mean, this has got to be a recording, right? Or is uh, that person actually talking to us? Door to archives sub basement. Um. And this is just a door. So, where do we have to go according to my map? Okay, pretty clearly in this direction. All right, let's go. They kept the declaration in the archive strong room that's at the end of the east wing here. We'll have to make our way to it. All right. Looks like you actually know what you're doing. I appreciate it. We can't let the enemy's progress dissuade us from our task. Uh oh. We must defend our freedom and our right to be independent. Strike now and strike hard. <laughs> you may delay, but time will not. There's all sorts of shortcuts. Uh oh. We have enemies gates. over here. Uh, Mr. Gutsy. Yeah, I can't listen to you at the moment. I have to take care of this problem here. <laughs> Did you just call me a commie? <laughs> oh boy. Glad that's over. Oh, you actually have like a grenade. What's up? Um So I wonder if she actually does get hurt. It's only a scratch. I'll be fine. Okay, so she can get hurt. And I can give her stim packs. Okay, so Thanks. Sure, let's do it. I'll that. use it right away. <laughs> And she actually used it. That was pretty neat. You could see her injecting the stim pack. So I should probably ask her occasionally how she's doing, since hey. I'm not actually okay. seeing her health bar here. Oh, what the hell are you doing? Um, the sentry bots oh. are pretty tough. Let me get out a stronger gun here. Well, that's the end of that. That's the end of that. Okay, so we have robots down here and. They are hostile. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Um, but I wanted to check out this door here. Oh, well, your science skill is not high enough to fix this broken door. I think I'm pretty close to this, so... <laughs> Maybe I should have waited a little while longer before coming here, because... I'm very close to... That... Number. Okay, but I can open this door and here we go okay this is just another corridor it's not a room as I thought it would be so maybe I'm going to take a look at this stuff first and help got a bunch of cash registers here and i mean this has got some value at least so i may as well take it all um okay so where do we want to go next this way or this way oh hang on a second we have another room over here <laughs> and all the ammo is just energy cells maybe I actually should take like some of these energy weapons with me just in case there was another one over here may as well take it um okay let's maybe check out this corridor f first <laughs> well 
Oops, even more cash registers. And I think I can already hear like another robot somewhere. Yep, pretty sure I can hear one. Um it's just the way I've been programmed. Oh, it's one of these. Don't be alarmed if I Yep. I see you. It's just the way I've been programmed. A robo brain. And another one! There you are. <laughs> okay. How are you doing? What's up? Um, are you hurt? It's only a scratch. I'll be fine. Yeah, let's not take any risks Thanks. here. Thanks. I'll use it right away. <laughs> there we go. Uh, okay, let's check out all the rooms. This one is pretty much empty. Oh, and this is a corridor that I just unlocked, so this doesn't really go anywhere. It's just like a very minor shortcut. According to the plans, the turret generator is somewhere in this room. Disable it, and it should make our lives easier. Okay. Uh, sure, I will uh, look around for it, I suppose. I mean, there's still enemies, but they might be on a different level. Uh, I will take this. Mm. And... Sure, I'll take this as well. Oh, this is the generator. Um, let's see. You pull open the maintenance panel on the turret generator, disabled generator. Yes, let's do that. And done. So. And this is the utility gate just from the other side. So, again, it's just like a minor shortcut. Nothing too important if I can't open it. Oh, let's go down here. Okay, just one door here. I can already see another enemy. We cannot allow the enemy to penetrate our uh -oh. defenses any deeper. Old glory uh. must not be stained with the blood of tyranny. Yeah, they're clearly talking the to us, will right? Be here soon. You must defend your leader. Mm. Remember. Our cause is noble. It is the cause of mankind. But I'm not a tyrant. Locked average. Locked hard. Okay, I won't be able to open that. And this is just a normal door. Um. Sure, let's maybe open this door first. Well... Can't seem to find any place where it's okay. Here we go. Um. Uh oh. I can already hear another robot. Oh, it's another sentry bot. Yeah. Let's make sure. Oh, it's two of them. Two of them at once. Uh. That is rather unpleasant. And a rubber brain! Okay. I guess that's all for now. But, um, I still want to go back to that one room we just unlocked. So, let's maybe do this first, before I forget it. <laughs> um, okay, there is another door I can open, because the rest is just a dead end. Let's do this.
Well, I'm very close here. There we go. Okay, well, 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 will you look at that? Okay, it's the turrets, but we have disabled them, so that's not going to be a problem. And again, all the ammo is just energy cells. Oh, and I can already hear like another robot. Um, can I have a quick look at that? I don't want to be ambushed by a robot unprepared. Okay, but it doesn't really seem to be close. Oh, and you're not doing that What's well. That? I just, I just saw your health bar. Um. Yeah, you need a stim pack. It's only a scratch. I'll be fine. Uh, it's a little bit more than that. Thanks. I'll use it right away. Okay. There we go. But I think I still have some stuff here. Yes, we have... First of all, lying congressional style. I'll take that. And... Sure, I'll take all of this as well. More energy cells. And... Yep, a safe. Oh, the Bill of Rights! <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this is not what I came here for, but I guess I'll take it. Is this actually something I can, like, read, maybe? No, this is just the password, so I guess this is just going to be another random item. <laughs> Doesn't have any value. <laughs> well, it may have some value to Abraham Washington, right? So, I'm sure he will appreciate it and maybe give me some caps for it. Okay, um, I think we are good here. Yeah, she's still not fully healed. Look at that. Even though she just took a stim pack. What's up? Take another one. I insist. It's only a. I insist. Thanks. I'll use it right away. So, how are you doing now? Okay, now I can't see her health bar, so I'm going to assume it's at full health. Okay, um, yeah, I will try to remember this door and maybe return once I have enough lockpicking for that. Which shouldn't take much longer. I'm actually getting very close to 75. Right. Let's grab some of this stuff here. Okay, so we have two options now, two ways where we can go. Now, it looks like our destination is somewhere in this direction. I mean, you said you know where to go, so can you give us Up like should be the door to the archive strong room. That's where they keep the declaration. Okay, so that's basically where we need to go. The enemy is at the gates! Uh -oh. Now is the time for the greatest of rallying cries! Wish not so much to live <laughs> hard as to live well! Let's have a look inside. Oh, oh, there's already um another robot. <laughs> but it's Button Gwynnard. The guy who has been talking to us, who apparently is not a guy, but a protection and it looks like he's actually non-hostile so I may not have to shoot him like right away you've breached our defenses well you've evaded our best soldiers and you've raided my home <laughs> but I have not yet begun to fight I cannot allow you to steal our freedom the declaration must remain here it is our symbol of hope the one thing that cries out we are a free nation yeah, but that nation does no longer exist for quite some time already. <laughs> so if I would take the declaration and put it in a museum, people can actually look at it. You know, if it's just locked away here, people don't even know it exists. But if they can see it, they might be inspired by it and may want to rebuild that nation, right? <laughs> Also, I have, like, an intelligence option here. You must be Button Gwynnard, second signer of the declaration. <laughs> so, hang on a second. Is that a real person? Or used to be a real person? Or is Mara just making that up? 
I mean, probably not, right? This is probably a real person. So I guess Mara must have learned about this in the vault. Why else would she know about the second sign of the declaration? What are you talking about? You're a robot. Just who are you exactly? Get out of my way, you lunatic. Sure, let's try the intelligence option. Then my reputation precedes me. <laughs> that should make you well aware that I am not to be trifled with, uh -huh. and that my loyalty to the States is legendary. Right. I know your fighting prowess far exceeds my own, but I will still duel you to the death if I must. <laughs> what will it be, then? Rapiers? Pistols at dawn? Um, Out with it! Dawn. I mean, I would prefer not to duel you. I do like your wig, though. That is very classy. <laughs> That's quite brave of you, to potentially sacrifice your life over a document. Why would you do all of that over a scrap of paper? You're not even human, you stupid bucket of bowls. Yeah, I mean, I'm guessing the real button when it was not a robot, because even in this reality, robots did not exist at that point in time, right? So... It's just a robot who thinks he's button Gwyneth. Either way, I guess it's quite brave of you. This is no mere document, madam. This is the doctrine laid down by my fellow members of the Second Continental Congress. It mm -hmm. absolves us of the tyranny of King George the Third of Great well, Britain. Look at that. It is perhaps the greatest symbol of this free nation. Yeah, maybe I should have waited until after this mission before doing the test, because it does actually uh, give me some information about some of the questions. Uh, you do realize that it's about 500 years later, don't you? Is there some way we can make a compromise? This is what's going to happen. You die, I get the declaration, understand. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe he doesn't realize that this is like 500 years ago. Petty lies and deceit may be the way of Great Britain's crowd, but I will not uh. succumb to such tomfoolery. Since it appears you wish to resolve this without bloodshed, may I suggest you stand mm. down and surrender? I can promise that you will be treated well, in a <laughs> manner accustomed to any member of the Royal Army. I am not a member of the Royal Army, and I would really like to have that declaration. There's more to this than you realize, Button. Nope, sorry, I've got to have that declaration at any cost. Mm, allow me to ponder my decision. I'm not sure what that's going to do. Uh, so let's try this option. Please explain. But I warn you, I am well versed on the tactics of the <laughs> underhanded Redcoat spy. You do well to remember that. Uh, I am not a Redcoat spy. Ooh. I have a speech check, although the chances are, well, just slightly above average. I'm Thomas Jefferson, and I've returned to liberate the Declaration. <laughs> Let me prove my honesty by helping you trick the Redcoats. You were right, I'm a Redcoat spy, and the place is surrounded by my army. Um, I guess I will try the speech check. I hope he doesn't turn hostile if I fail. Hopefully I can still try, like, the other option here, but sure, let's give this a try. Saints alive! Nice! It is both an honor and a privilege, sir. <laughs> I was hoping he was, this like, day saluting. would arrive. I hope these fortifications are up to your high standards, sir. <laughs> All of my men await your command to push and retake the capital. Right. <laughs> May I ask where you intend to bring the document? Um, it will be carried to our new president, Abraham Washington. Hmm, I mean, <laughs> that sounds like a good explanation. It will be brought to the State House for safekeeping. I am presenting it to our king in Great Britain. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't say this. And I feel that this is maybe the most likely one. I'm not sure what he will say to, you know, a new president that he hasn't heard of. So I'm going to pick this option. The state house still stands? Then the stars and stripes truly <laughs> are forever! All hail the red, white, and blue! All hail the does, red, white, and blue. Does this mean the war is over? Have we won? Yeah, about that. Um, <laughs> you have won. I mean, you have won your war, so I'm not telling him a lie. You have won the war of independence. Um, we're not talking about the other war. <laughs> 
Yes, button, we won, sure, whatever. Just give me the damn declaration already. Nope, we actually won. It's over? Amen to that. Then I suppose my posting here at the fort is complete. I think you said it best when you said, We in America do not have government by the majority. We have government by the majority who <laughs> participate. It has Wise been both words. an honor and a privilege to serve in the army of the United States. What are your final orders? Stand down and honorably relinquish your post. You've earned a rest. You can do whatever you like. You're a disgrace. I order your immediate dismissal from the Congress. Uh, I wouldn't do that. I mean, he was only doing his duty. I mean, I'm not sure why there's a robot here who thinks he's Button Gwynedd, but I guess he has fulfilled that role. So I think you earned a rest. Coming from you, that means all the world to me. <laughs> it's been an honor and a privilege to serve my country. It's time for me to take a long needed rest. I think you'll find that the rest of my men are long due for the same. I hereby relinquish command and control of this fortification to you. Good luck to you, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> and give Sally my regards. I will. Uh, I, I guess that's my wife, maybe? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, but I guess um, we resolved this interesting situation. Uh, I really like your wig. And yeah, I guess he just shut himself down because I can't actually talk to him anymore. Anyway, um, we still need to find the actual declaration. So let's look around and see what we can see. Strong room security terminal. Okay, got the password. National Archives Robotics Maintenance Terminal current issues listed by Unit P Brandsack Robotics Team. Unlock all strong room doors, yes. Unlock all east wing doors, yes. Unlock mech sealed doors, yes. Okay, this one is down, but everything else is unlocked. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Buttons supply desk. Okay, it's just uh, more energy cells. <laughs> and <laughs> he has another wig. That is amazing. I, I have to, I have to um, at least give that wig a try. Obviously, I hope I can wear it. Yes, it is something I can wear. Now let's see. <laughs> this is great. This is awesome. I'm going to wear this for the time being. At least until I have delivered the Declaration of Independence. After all, I am currently Thomas Jefferson. So I should try to look the part, right? Uh, this is great. So, ooh, well, look at that. Tales of a Junktown Jockey Vendor. Um, I'll take the scotch as well. And there it is, Declaration of Independence. We got it. And I guess I will take this as well. Um, the camera is a little bit unusual, but okay. And that's all there is to this. Um, can we talk to her again? What's up? Um, okay, I can't tell her that I found the declaration, so let's Come just on. get going. Come on, less gawking and more walking. Right. Um, we do have, like, another door here. Oh, oh, oh dear. Activate button Gwynedd. Oh, I see, this is where he used to stand around. Activate, recall, shut down. The Button Gwynedd unit is designed primarily as a participant in our reenactments of the signing of the Declaration of Independence show. Oh, so this makes sense now. This unit plays a part of Button Gwynedd of Georgia, second signer of the Declaration. This unit is also programmed with the standard tour guide assistance subroutines and limited security subroutines. I mean, he took his job very seriously. 
John Hancock. Okay, so they have like protectrons for different signers of the independence and they were just part of some reenactment. John Adams, Benjamin Franklin. I'm guessing this is all the same, right? Yep, uh, the text is all the same. So, where are the other units? Recall unit. Recall uplink not available. Unit not present. Okay. So, no idea what happened to the other units. John Adams. Edward Rutledge. Thomas Jefferson. Hey, Thomas Jefferson is still here. Well, look at that. Do I want to activate him? I mean, I'm kind of pretending to be Jefferson at the moment, so... And a backup protectron. Well, let's see. Activate. Oh, maintenance notice. If anyone has information regarding the swapping of the voice software from our Thomas Jefferson protectron performer with a radio uplink and frequency scanning software, please stop by Administrator Berkeley's office. This unit has been taken offline until we can repair the damage. Oh, okay, apparently this unit is not properly functioning. It's not actually uh, impersonating Thomas Jefferson at the moment, huh? Unit offline for maintenance. Okay, so I can't do anything here. And yeah, Thomas Jefferson of Virginia, future president of the US and primer, primary author of the declaration. Yeah, I feel that a lot of the um, answers for that test can be found during this mission. And yeah, there's like a backup here as well. Programming subroutines. Okay. Okay, so I can basically... Um, transfer the personality from one robot into the other. Transfer complete. Okay, so this unit should be um, Thomas Jefferson now. Right? Okay, but I can't actually... Cause one dog ain't enough and two is too low. It's me, three dogs! Okay, but it's just... It's just playing the radio. Okay. So even after transferring the, the programming, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, I will maybe look at this later. So I'm just going to shut this down. Oh, um, I didn't expect it to explode. I thought it would just shut down. <laughs> Uh, that was weird. Uh, okay, we have a little bit more stuff here. However, um, the episode is getting kind of long, so I think I'm going to make a cut here. Um, I will take a look at this terminal in the next episode, and I think What's you up? just took some damage from that explosion, so let me give you... It's only a scratch. I'll some be fine. Skin packs. Thanks. I'll use it right away. <laughs> yeah, um, I will end the episode here. Uh, we will take a look at that terminal and then try to leave this place and return to um, Abraham Washington in the next episode. But <laughs> for now, let's call it a day as always. Thank you for watching and see you again next time.